right, today we are talking about our story, me and Uncle Rami, and our skill this week was to work with understanding characters. So I am going to read this, and this is going to be our active reading activity for the day. But I wanted to review a couple other things that we've talked about so far this year. Um, we've talked about theme, so I'm going to read this, and this is on page 244 and 245 in your reading book, which you can get on Think Central through the story Rami and Me. It's literally the page after the end of the story, okay? So theme, the theme of a story is the main message about life the author wants readers to understand. You can figure out a story's theme by thinking about what happens in the story and what the characters learn. How does James feel about Uncle Rami at first? How do his feelings change throughout the story and why? Using events and details from the text can help you figure out the theme the author wants to share. So if we were in class, we would get a chance to talk about these questions. How does James feel about Uncle Rami at first? So by now you have listened to me read the story and you have reread the story. So James was a little uneasy around Uncle Rami because it was someone that he didn't know. And even after he came to New York, Uncle Rami was always in his studio working and he didn't really get to get to know him very well at first. But his feelings changed throughout the story and why. So his feelings changed and he began to understand what who Rami was and get to know him a little bit more. Um, they went to the baseball game together and all of his paintings of Harlem really made uh, James like get to know him more. Um, let's go ahead and review point of view. This one's really important that we've talked about because it depends on how well we can get to know our characters if we know what point of view the story is coming from. So authors tell stories from different points of view. When a story is told from the first person point of view, the narrator is part of the story. Readers know what the narrator thinks, but learn about other characters through what the characters say and do. When a story is told from the third person point of view, the narrator is outside of the story. Readers learn what all the characters think, say, and do. So my question is, is me and Uncle Rami first person or third person? So I'm going to re start reading here. Then I saw it. New York. Buildings stretching up to the sky so close together, not like North Carolina at all. Penn Station, watch your step, the, con step the conductor said, helping me down from the platform. I did like daddy said and found a spot for myself close to the train. So since I see the words me and I, and I can tell that James is telling the story from his own mind, like what he sees, what he hears when the conductor says, watch your step, that's what he's hearing. So our story this week is from the first person point of view. We are getting all of James's thoughts and um, we don't really have Uncle Rami's thoughts. We have some of his actions, but that's based on what James is seeing and hearing. So back to our understanding characters. What we are going to do is I'm gonna read through this and then we're gonna we get the chance to fill one of these out. This is called a graphic organizer. Understanding characters. Me and Uncle Rami is a realistic fiction story about a boy named James who visits his aunt and uncle in New York City. What the three characters do and what they learn is what makes the story interesting for readers. 
The author shows what the characters are like by describing what they think, what they do, and what they say. Reread the, the story. Notice what James thinks, does, and says the morning of his birthday. What can you tell about James based on these details? So, get a piece of paper. You're going to need three columns. So I'm gonna divide my paper into thirds. And then I'm going to write thoughts, actions, and words. And this is all for James, okay? So maybe I'll write James on the side here. Because we could do it with each character. We could also do it with Rami and see what his thoughts and actions and words are. So, let's see. 236. So they're going to give us a hint on the where his birthday is at. 236 and 237. So, you are going to make a bullet point and write down one of James's thoughts. Okay? So, you should be able to find a thought in these two pages and write that down. Then what are some of his actions? Actions are things that he does. And then words. What are some things that he says? Go ahead and just write down one or two of each and then we are going to share our charts at our meeting at two o'clock today. So Go ahead, if you have any questions, let me know. And this direction page is right back here after the end of the story. If you need another um, visual of what you are doing. Good luck and I'll see you at two o'clock.